This baby podcast concept is blowing up all over social media, and for good reason. It's hilarious, cute, and addictive. For example, take a look at this video. Okay, well, so aside from how weird you look, what are other differences? Well, for one, I'm not allowed to poo or pee inside the house. So you guys can do it no problem. You know, in your case, you just go in your pants wherever and whenever you want, which, by the way, mad respect. You know, that's one of the things I like the most about you. I'm actually pooing right now. Oh, I know. I can smell it. But yeah. It's hilarious, right? These channels are getting millions of views. But what if I told you? These videos are insanely easy to create. In this video, I am going to show you the entire process, from writing the script to animating your cute host, so you can start racking up views and engagement. Let's get started. To create this video, you need to follow these five steps. Writing the script, generating a voiceover, creating the characters, lip sync with animation, and finally editing the video. So, first let's prepare the script. Open chat GPT and paste this prompt. I want to create a short AI video where a one-year-old baby and a cat host a podcast-style conversation. They speak and act like adults, but still view the world from their unique perspectives. The baby grappling with questions like where food comes from, why nap time is mandatory, and whether they'll ever grow up, while the cat offers witty, aloof, or mischievous insights on topics like human behavior, the mysteries of the red dot, and why the baby gets all the attention. Can you suggest some fun topic ideas for their discussions? I will add the prompts, some video topic ideas, and all the relevant materials in the description of this video. So ChatGPT gave me some fun topic ideas. I'll just choose this one and add the prompt. Let's create a short one minute fun podcast using this idea. Can you create a few different versions of scripts for me? So you'll get different versions here. Choose the one you like the most. You can further modify these and add your own twist. Once the script is finalized, it's time to do the next step, which is voiceover generation. I recommend using Eleven Labs. It's my go-to for generating realistic voiceovers, and it gives you tons of control over tone and expression. Inside Eleven Labs, you can either use text-to-speech or the voice changer. The text-to-speech option is quick and easy. So, explore different voices on the left side. I like this one, so I'll choose this. I just love talking about movies, you know, TV shows really anything that's in the yard, so use my voice for those kind of projects. Check the settings. Copy-paste your script generated by ChatGPT and hit Generate. Now, follow the same process for baby's voiceover. Paste the script, choose voice, and hit Generate. Now, our voiceovers are ready. Time to do the next step, which is creating cat and baby images. For image generation, I'll use Leonardo. You can use any image generator that you like or have access to. I'll add these image prompts in description too, so you can copy those as reference and create any image you want. Open Leonardo. Choose Image Model Phoenix 1.0. Choose the image dimension. And one more thing. If you don't get good results, turn off the prompt enhance. For the first image, paste this prompt. Scene of a one-year-old baby podcast host seated at a podcast setup, wearing oversized headphones and speaking into a professional microphone. The baby has a focused, curious expression as if deeply engaged in conversation. Background features a soundproof studio with acoustic foam panels and a wooden table. Cinematic lighting, photorealistic, high resolution, 4K, and hit generate. Choose the one you like and follow the same process for the cat image. For this, I'll add this prompt. Close-up scene of a cat podcast guest seated at a podcast setup, wearing oversized headphones and speaking into a professional microphone. The cat has a slightly aloof, mischievous expression, looking directly at the camera as if delivering a witty remark. Background matches the baby's setup with acoustic foam panels and a wooden table. Cinematic lighting, photorealistic, high resolution, 4K. Once both images are ready, put them in the same folder. Now, the next step is animation and lip sync. For this, we're going to use Hydra. Sign up and choose the video section. You see an interface like this? Simply go to the audio script and choose Upload Audio Option. Here you can also record or generate, but we already generated it, so we'll upload that. Next, click on Start Frame and upload our baby image. Now, hit Generate and wait for a few seconds and boom, our baby video is ready. Follow the same process, upload the cat's image, upload voiceover for the second clip, and hit Generate. Finally, let's put it all together. This is where everything comes to life. Start by importing your animated clips into a video editing tool like CapCut. Arrange the clips in a back-and-forth conversation format. 
ensuring that the baby and cat appear to be interacting naturally. Pay close attention to timing. Comedic pauses and well-placed reactions will amplify the humor and keep viewers engaged. Next, add subtitles. Keep them concise and use a playful font that suits the overall aesthetic. Subtitles are crucial for keeping viewers hooked, especially during those witty exchanges between the baby and the cat. Once everything is synced, preview the video to ensure that the pacing feels natural and the audio is well-balanced. So, this is how you can create an AI baby podcast. I have added all the links and prompts in the description. Here's the final output. Hey, cat, can I ask you something? You just did, but go on. Where does food really come from? Is there a food-making machine somewhere? Oh, you sweet, innocent baby. Food doesn't just appear. Humans are the food-fetching machines, basically. Really? Like robots? But where do they get it from? They open the big, cold box, pull out the good stuff, and... Voila, food appears. Wow. Do they ever go to the store to get catnip? I wish, but no. They mostly just get those weird mashed peas for you. Not fair. 